Hi, I'm Mike Neundorfer and I'm with Advanced RV and uh, I'm right now uh, taking advantage of this uh, Arctic cold that we're going to get tonight. It's supposed to go down to about three degrees here in uh, Chardon, Ohio. And uh, so it was a great opportunity to bring B-Box out, see how it tracks in the snow. And, uh, and Marsha agreed to sleep out tonight. She made some homemade lentil soup for uh, dinner and uh, we're gonna sleep in the bee box and see how toasty it is. Of course, I told her it's gonna be as toasty as she wants. Uh, so we're looking forward to testing out the bee box in the winter. The bee box is designed for four season comfort. Uh, it's highly insulated, about R13 plus or minus with the windows, which are uh, dual pane. And uh, there is no through conduction, there's no uh, steel or aluminum frame in any of the doors or, or windows or the box itself. Uh, it's heated, uh, hydronically heated on the floor and also has auxiliary forced air heat if it uh, gets, I don't know, really, really cold. Uh, we're going to try to operate just with a hydronically heated floor. There's enough floor area and the insulation is so good that that should work out well in the, in the bee box. In addition to the hydronically heated floor, the tanks are all hydronically heated and they're thermostatically controlled. And then all the plumbing is uh, rooted inside the van. So the tanks, in addition to having the heat, uh, are all insulated on the outside of the, of the tank. So we're pretty excited about uh, trying this thing out here. This is the kind of view you can only have in the winter, this crisp uh, zero degree morning with the sun coming up through the trees. Uh, it's just uh, magical. Uh, we had a, a very comfortable night's sleep last night. Uh, the bee box handles great in the snow. We didn't slip a bit. We were on uh, unplowed uh, drives and paths. Uh, this is, a, uh, I guess, the winter storm of the season here, but for us, it's a, it's a beautiful morning. All right, well, thanks for the night and thanks for the kind of test in uh, V-Box 1. <laughs> we passed the test. <laughs> So we took it out uh, last night. Last night was probably the coldest night, maybe the coldest night we'll get this year. It got down to two below zero Fahrenheit. So we wanted to check out a few things. We wanted to check out the tank heating and uh, the fresh tank was 100% full and uh, it didn't get below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It, of course, there's a, a level sensor in there and a, also a temperature sensor. So I could monitor the, the tank uh, temperatures, the other two tanks were, were higher temperature the whole time. Uh, we have two heating systems in here, mainly from a test, for test purposes. One is a, a hydronic floor heat, and the other is uh, a convective, what we call aux heat. The hydronic floor heat was all we used last night, and uh, it was toasty. The, the hydronic floor heat uses uh, a diesel-fired furnace that has a uh, heat exchanger surrounding it for glycol. And in this van we have, uh, I think there are three circulating pumps for different zones uh, for heating. One zone is the floor heat where it takes glycol that's been uh, heated up to about 175 degrees, circulates it through loops in the floor and heats the floor from underneath. And that uh, radiates heat up through the van. One system is the floor heat has a separate pump for circulation. Another is the aux heat, which goes through a heat exchanger, uh, actually a portion of the heat exchanger used for the evaporator in the air conditioner, and the same fans and stuff circulate that. And then the other uh, uh, heating of the tanks, uh, which are all insulated, uh, is through a, se a separate circulating pump. So all these pumps uh, pump the hot glycol from the reservoir and uh, the furnace heats it. The, these diesel-fired furnaces in B-Box 1, it has two different settings. So it has a high and a low setting, and then off. In the new ones, we have an infinitely adjustable turndown ratio. If the, if the differential uh, temperature is low, we can respond at a low setting it's a little higher, we can go a little higher and then higher and higher. This uh, makes more efficient combustion and also gives a little more efficient performance. 
in contrast to the bee box, which has uh, no conductive path. There isn't even one bolt that goes through any insulated surface here to conduct heat away and then condense and cause a minor draft in the van. In the vans, we use convective heat all the time because there's not enough floor surface in the van to create enough radiant energy uh, without really using a high temperature approach. So in order to get enough heat out of the floor in a van to offset the conductive heat paths and the uh, general insulation value of a van, uh, you'd have to have the floor so hot that you couldn't stand on it. We do put a radiant heated floor in there just for comfort. It uses electric resistance for heating, which is obviously not as, as efficient as using a diesel-fired furnace. Thanks for watching the B-Box video. We had a lot of fun testing it. And thanks for your interest in, in what we're doing here at Advanced RV. Uh, we have several orders now for B-Box uh, uh, campers. And uh, this is uh, the next one that's going out this month. Uh, so uh, thanks again for watching.